I want to challenge you to stay to the end because I don't think there's anything more pragmatic for our lives than what we're going to talk about. But in the midst of understanding um, the pragmatism of it, I understand the struggle. See, I know that the vast majority of us in this room, if you grew up attending church, if you had any time of church attendance, at some point in your time, you were disappointed if not wounded by church. It would be true of every one of us in here. And if Beltway Park is your first church experience, which we love, and you're sitting here thinking, I've not been disappointed yet. I've not been wounded. All I've ever done is Beltway Park. Just keep coming. Um, and we're going to solve that at some point in your life. I promise you, we are not the arrival. God, Jesus is not pulling the angels over to the side of heaven going, hey, boys, look, that church, that barn in the middle of the field in Abilene, Texas, that's how church is supposed to be. That's what it finally is supposed to be. We've not arrived yet. We are a messed up group of people who are still on a journey to find the things that God has for our lives. <clears throat> I understand intimately the struggles, the imperfections, the problems, the weaknesses of what we have as church. Let's be honest. If you know somebody goes to church, do you not have a little bit of a higher expectation of them? If you, if you see them here or they go to another church in town, isn't there a little bit of an expectation that we're going to try to live this out, that there's going to be a higher sense of maybe morality, maybe make decisions in a different kind of way? I mean, that makes some sense. But when we have that expectation, which makes some sense, we will at some point be disappointed. I can't speak for all churches, but I can speak for us. And us has not arrived. Us is a bunch of messed up people who are on a journey to be more like Jesus, to be more like he wants us to be. But along this journey to become more like Jesus, we messed up people do messed up things. And when you do messed up things, sometimes you mess on other people. 